Put me in, coach. All right, returning from the bye, we're off of the bye apocalypse. The Broncos, Texans, Jags, Patriots, Eagles, Redskins, they get to play football again. This week, the Packers, Giants, Seahawks, Titans. So you've got your Derrick Henrys, your Chris Carsons, your Saquons, and your Aaron Jones Jones and Jamal Williams. So a lot of running backs. That's what I'm saying. I think Brian Hill's the guy this week. And the real question is, is do you as a fantasy owner become – Worried about the limited timeline with Brian Hill. That can define what you spend on fab is if you buy into two weeks, what do you spend on two weeks? If you buy into three, four weeks, we're heading into the playoffs. So he could get you there. He could help you get there if you need a running back. Uh, If you end the season with a bunch of fab money, it doesn't roll over. You know what I mean? So this is the time of year where now I like to make sure I still have money going into the playoffs. We we say that as a tip early in uh, in the beginning of the season. I'm always going to at least – so right now, I, I want to say $5 is what I make sure I have going into the playoffs. My own league of record team, I got $1. I got a dollar left, but I can't be at zero because there's going to be those important matchups when there's one opponent in the entire league in your championship and you want to steal a dollar away. But outside of that, you know, th- these are the weeks where you need a win. You You need to make sure your opponents lose. Spend whatever you've got to spend to make sure you're winning these waiver wires. And he gets Carolina this week, speaking of Brian Hill, Carolina, and then Tampa Bay next week, which the Tampa Bay matchup is unfortunate. Uh, the Carolina matchup is wonderful. Yes. Aaron Jones was the start of the week because of it. They've given up a top five performance three consecutive weeks. Go get it. Sure. Uh, do you have any – I mean, it, fantasy football is a game of opportunity, 100%, and the Falcons are a – generally strong offense but for Brian Hill I know there's the the truthers are out there I don't know Jason if you consider yourself a Brian Hill truther or you're just like he's more of an Edo Smith falser no I well I I would say I'm both and because I because Edo Smith's not good at all um sure but my point of saying this is we as the public look at Brian Hill and say well he's clearly better than Edo Smith why is Edo Smith keep passing him on the depth chart, Mm -hmm. and there's people, Brian Hill's better than Devonta Freeman. I mean, he was a fifth-round pick, and it's taken him multiple injuries to get to the forefront. So while he is the top pick, especially if you need a running back to play this week, I'm just tempering my expectations. This is not Kenyon Drake taking over an entire Cardinal backfield. Right. This is just opportunity. This is like give Brian Hill 15 carries, and maybe five catches in an offense that doesn't have Hooper, that doesn't have Sanu, that doesn't have Freeman. Yeah, he had 20 carries this last week. Yeah, I so mean, the that, opportunity is there. Yeah, and he, and he just tell him, someone go up to Brian Hill, whisper into his ear that this is preseason week three. That's all you need to do. <laughs> and he the pressure will fall off of him, and you'll be fine. Yeah, the, there isn't competition here. You know what I mean? There, there's Now that Devontae and Ito are gone, I mean, the, yeah, maybe. Uh, Kenyon Barner, Quadri Olson will will get a few carries, but you know it's 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 Hill's game, and I have liked Hill like not just from what we've seen in preseason. I like this college tape in our dynasty league. You know, I I picked up Brian Hill early, thinking he was the backup to own. It turned out to be Edo Smith, but uh, no, not really. So we'll stay in running backs. Let me ask you this question: If these players were out there which these are in the probably own but worth checking category. I want to know Brian Hill or, okay? Okay. Brian Hill or Royce Freeman. Who would you rather roster if Royce Freeman was out there, Denver running back, splitting time with Lindsey? I'm on the Brian Hill side. Where are you guys Assuming I'm playing either one of these guys this week, it would be Brian Hill. Okay. Yeah, if, if for only one week, Brian Hill, but otherwise it's Royce Freeman. Kareem Hunt, who's 72% owned. Has Pittsburgh Thursday, then Miami, Pittsburgh again. Kareem Hunt. You'd rather have Kareem Hunt than Brian Hill? Yeah. I'm on the Brian Hill side. I am as well, although Kareem Hunt, nice debut. Ronald Jones? Oh, Ronald Jones. Okay, Ronald Jones. Hey, what's up? Glad you're here. Glad you came. Glad you watched the video. You should check out the whole thing. The link is below. 